Hi guys, my name is Manish Kumar and in today's session we will talk about over architecting. So what is over architecting? What am I talking here? So there is a key problem what we will discuss here that is like our business think that no matter how small ask it is, dev team always come with a like you know big design change, a long roadmap and a big estimates. And at the same time dev team thinks like business always expect that everything can be developed with a fraction of second so how to fill that gap both parties are doing great job they both are like correct business job is definitely to increase profit reduce expenses so they want to get the feature done in less expense and generate more profit out of it and dev team job is to write the code which is expendable sustainable scalable and like you know follow entire the coding guidelines follow entire the um, designing guidelines go through the entire phase of testing cycles so both teams are doing their best job and you don't want them to derail from their entire goal so what to do and that is something what we will talk here and this is again based on my experience i would love to uh, know about your experiences and uh, that will help us to share knowledge of each other and improve the things so let me note down the problem we are talking here quickly here i just noted down in a very uh, limited time that business team thinks no matter how small ask is dev team will come with a big design and so estimates also and and what it cause actually it cause lack of trust in both parties like if we are not taking right decisions business team is like oh it's a small ask but it will take a lot of money rather sharing it with the dev team they hold up they never bring those kind of things to the team because they want to put make sure the team is working on the big impacted features and that's the role where engineering manager or the director who has like you know good grasp in both the parties depending upon the organization like because like i know engineering manager onwards you have a good grasp on your team but the key role here is the different second party also the business team so it could be engineering manager or director who can negotiate with both the teams who can collaborate communicate well with both the teams has to come in picture here and it's their job to define something something means a tool or a process or combination of both to ensure that this build the trust between these two parties it could be simply as a document in the document we can call it as a anything like you know mini requirement or maybe uh, a, a like draft doc or very simple is one page doc opd and why i am saying these names i am trying to say that the document we are creating here should be small it should not be more than one page and in extreme case maybe just two page not more than that that's why i am trying to say opd works better here in this case because it's clearly stating that whatever we are writing here has to be within a page so that you know it's easy to grasp quick to uh, finalize if you will write lot of text a big giant document it's very tough to become an agreement with a, a group of people so i always prefer like keep things more for dialogues so what what should i do in this one page talk so in our opd should mention a high level requirement which is like not more than couple of lines so you uh, discuss with your business leaders or business teams about the feature or about the ask you understand it and then try to summarize it within couple of lines here and once you know it now the second thing you want to record here is know your customer who is your customer who you are developing this feature for is it just a very specific vip customer who is asking for it or this is a large set of like a, a, a million of customer going to impact due to this so you know the customer base now you have your customer base so the third question you should record here is why are we doing it what is the motivating factor behind this is it like going to generate lot of revenue or is it something uh, like you know it could be very small like as i said like a vip customer asking for it and we need to give him some ways to do it or it could be as big as like okay we have a long term strategy where business want to go there and this is a baby step into that direction or it could be our branding thing also 
so that could be much bigger and it could be smaller also but why are we doing it this question should be aligned to know the thought what is the key thought what is the motivating factor behind it or it could be sometime like you know because business is uh, focusing more on something else and this is our existing product and we don't want to lose the customer's interest from it so rather like not giving anything just give them something small and this is one thing we are going doing for that so now you understand the overall thought behind it motivating factor behind it you know the basic requirement you know about the customer base you know why are we doing it so you can just step in a little bit into the next phase which is like planning and estimates so planning in terms of like when are you planning to launch it simple thing like what is your plan is it something you are looking to be launched within a month or two or is it something like mid next year you are thinking to take it out and then the one more question if organization supported some organization do it today like any kind of like estimated profit or like predicted value so basically some organization today have a uh, mechanism defined where they predict the profit of the features that yes if we will release it it's going to give us like that much million dollars or mm, it could be it is not more profit oriented it is more to just make our customer happy and then like you know having good relations and like get profit in other terms so that kind of thing if it is there if it is not we are solving problem we are not creating problem we are not over designing it again so the last question which is the key question here is how much you want to invest in this and that should not be like uh, very specific it could be just like a small or, or maybe depending upon your need extra small is small it's a t-shirt sizing medium large extra large kind of thing so now you get a idea what business is thinking and depending upon product you define what is extra small is is it something 5k to 10k or is it something uh, 50k to 100k depending upon your project if you have like a working on a big product where a small feature even releasing out takes like 100k to 500k okay that will be your extra small but if you are working on a very small website or very small thing where like you know its entire cost is 500k and your extra small is like okay 10k so depending upon your project you can define these things so now you know what business want to invest you take this document and bring the right set of people from your team for brainstorming and for the discussion why i am saying right set of people you want to bring the architect or your technical lead or the person like you know who love code more than himself for this meeting point of view the right set of people who you think may be important for this meeting you bring them into the room and you talk about it you share with them that this is the ask you tell them what are the customers we are targeting you tell them the the motivation factor behind it why are we doing it this is just because like you know a customer is asking he is unhappy we just want to give him some options not a very fancy launch it is just very specific to the customer or it could be something like hey this is a baby step in terms of like developing that a big giant system at the top of it and and like you know that is the timeline business is thinking to launch it out and how much business want to invest business is not in the mood to invest a lot into this because they don't have so clear vision how that will go in future or maybe it is just very specific to that or it could be like because you know the focus is on that particular thing but they want to take something out for this particular product so that our business keep running now your team know the entire thought behind it and what you do you ask them like let's do and give a high level estimate on it and you can like use approach factor here like team can come up with a uh, couple of approaches and more reasonable approaches it's not like we have to put three if there is no approach only one thought one thing okay do it so here you define like the assumptions team is making during this approach and like you know uh, a high level understanding and then the high level estimates and these are again the t-shirt size estimates that this much it gonna take similarly you define the second approach and third whatever it's coming out but try to keep it very reasonable approaches should if it is within two approaches perfect it is awesome because more approach it will cause more confusion so let's try to solve it out with that group now you have okay guys this is the these are the two most uh, voted approach maybe 
uh, to take further and then you bring it back to business so whatever approach you have decided there in the group and you agreed on that and that seems reasonable for the group you bring them share here business gives the thought things and i'm fine if i go from extra small to small that's perfectly fine so then now you have a agreement between both parties you this documents get frozen here almost frozen so and we use this further for reference whenever we are designing the system we are required collecting requirements we use it for the reference that that was the initial thought behind it and as i said like it's not a hard line like and keep in mind they are engineers Engine, engineers job is to open boxes not to just follow the rule and just finish it out open box surprises will come oh what is this code written in this file this is not sustainable code this has to be improved i don't want to implement new feature at the top of it good great that's a good point you have processes defined for them tag that log item for it give them the right thought give them the right direction what they can do to you know solve the problem don't just ask them go and do it i need it within like two days then the entire engineering entire skill you are hiring entire cost team is the organization is putting to hire these skill set like is wasted so their skills need to be utilized fully that is our first goal we cannot cost a multi million dollar project just to save 100k so and that's that's why you have that skill set in your team so like you know you take it if any surprise comes you go back again to the business you collaborate you bring it at the right time you go with the solutions what are different possible solutions which will have the least impact on the business and start building a trust overall because the key question you ask initially you talked about that and now everything is like at the top of it so you have a good relation you have a good trust both parties are coming close to each other like the business will ask you oh can we just quickly talk and have a uh, opd for this feature i have all these items filled in for you once the this process becomes mature it's like very less time taken and team know what to fill it how to do it and they start coming close and things getting better and we deliver better product for the customers so that's what guys my experience what i thought will help you i would as i said like please share your experience in the comments below and uh, let me know what works for you thank you so much guys please don't forget to subscribe my channel and see you in another session thank you so much